Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms. Glad to announce the Canic Rival. Yes, I did talk about a live stream where one of you asked about the Rival, whether it's coming to the US, whether it's not, whatever, you know, what, what is the Rival? How about that, right? But uh, I can answer your question now. Yes, it's coming to the US. Yes, it is here. It's being announced at SHOT Show as you have seen with all of our SHOT Show coverage. Now, what's cool about this gun is they've taken pretty much the design of the TP9 series, the Mate, the SFX, and they kind of combined all of the favorite, uh, I guess you could say, um, all the favorite things about those guns and put them into one. So let's go ahead and just open this guy up and see exactly what all is in the box. Manual, stuff like that. Okay, that's all fun. Now, this guy, when we got this in, it was like, what in the heck is this? And then there was an email followed up with it said, hey, uh, here is the Canic Rival. We got ours with the Mechanic Optic. It does come with just iron sights, but it is a very neat gun, very comfortable shooting. And I have uh, only had it for, at the point of filming, only for about a week or so, but I can tell you it's been at the range with us just about every day. And uh, I've, I've probably been shooting it too much. That's not a thing. I've been shooting it a lot, all right? And it's a very fun gun. And it, if you ask me, looks great. Now they have two different guns. They have the Canic Rival, what you see right here in this gray with this type of like uh, gold style controls and, and look, which is very nice. Then they also have the dark side model, which is your standard kind of black color, but one thing that's neat about it is it allows you to co-witness your sights. On most Canic guns, uh, you, pretty much lose your rear sight if you want to mount the optic. On the dark side model, you have the option to retain your rear sight, so that way you can actually co-witness your optic and all. Now you might be wondering too, why in the world would they do that? Uh, well, quite simply, it depends on what your use for the gun is. This gun right here is all in the mindset of competition, competitive shooting for an affordable price. It's there to, dare I say, rival a lot of those high-end guns out there. So with that being said, uh, we'll come back here and talk a little bit more about the gun uh, here in just a moment, but let's take this guy to the range and let's go run a couple of drills myself. And uh, when we come back, I'm gonna be calling out some other people to see if they can uh, compete against me, maybe even beat my time on these drills. I'll explain a little bit more when we get back. Let's go shoot this thing. So the drill is quite simple. 50 yard line, as many rounds as I possibly can on target within 30 seconds. And of course, we're only gonna count the hits. And as you can tell, we're shooting a TA target reduced C zone just to make it even more of a challenge. So let's go ahead and start off with drill number one, 50 yards, 30 seconds. How many hits can I get? 30 seconds on target at 50 yards. Timer starts after the first shot. So let's do this. There it is. <laughs> we'll have to go back and review how many of those were hits. It was all just trying to focus on that red dot and see if I can get that shot. Oh man, Woo. the next one ain't gonna be easy either. <laughs> For the next drill, 100 yards in one minute, 18 rounds, how many rounds can I make on target? Remember, it's that reduced C zone, so it's a little bit smaller of a guy, and that's a little bit further away than uh, than I'd like it to be. <laughs> so wish me luck, everybody. 100 yards, one minute. Let's go ahead and get it started. Ryan, you ready with the timer? Ready. All right. <sighs> okay, here we go. I'm just really glad my last one was a hit, all right? So 
I will say 100 yards, that was pretty good. How much time did I have left? Oh, you had 40, you, had, you used 40 seconds. I used 40 seconds, so I had 20 seconds left. I'm happy with that. So I think I actually got a lot more hits than I was planning on getting at 100 yards with the rival. Now let's head back into the video room and talk about who that rival might be. 19 hits at 50 yards in 30 seconds and 10 hits at 100 yards in one minute, all on that condensed C zone target. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. And you know what? I want to see if there's some other shooters out there that can compete against me and maybe even, maybe, beat me. So I'm calling you out, Alex Zedra, calling you out, Texas Planking, 22 Plankster, Guns Daily on Instagram. Do you actually shoot? Let's find out. How about it? And what about Suit? Our good friend Suits, I'm calling you out too, man. And one other person I want to call out too is a guy that I look up to, Omar. Crispy, I'm calling you out too. I want to see you take the Canic Rival and beat me, if you guys can, in those drills. So let's see it. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right back into what the Canic Rival is, what you'll be getting in the box whenever you get yours. So yes, finally here in the US, we've got this guy and like I said, I've been shooting it quite a bit and it is a very comfortable gun. So let's go ahead and just start at the muzzle, work our way back here. So first of all, you're gonna notice too that you do have your front fiber optic sight. It comes with two reds, so if you break the sky or want it to be brighter, I, I don't know, you have an extra red one. And it also comes with a green, so if your eye naturally picks up that front sight a little bit easier, if you have a green fiber optic, sweet. You can incorporate that if you want to. And all of that is actually held within this little gun kit that you see right here, a little mini, mini canic, all right? I've shown this guy off before, it's your little tool kit inside the grip itself, comes with all the extra little parts and pieces that you can get with it, and the little plastic baggie that I did double check to make sure your fiber optics are in there. Boom, one extra red and one green, cool. And then of course, all the other little pieces that you may or may not need, depending on what you want to do. You can also switch out the magazine release on it, so you can go for a little bit larger guy or a smaller guy if you want, which is pretty cool, and that's what's also included there. On this as well, let's go ahead and take a look at the aggressive design and texturing on this gun. I really like the window cuts. Again, that's gonna help with uh, weight reduction. And that's one thing that they had really in mind with this gun is efficiency overall and weight, because for competition shooting, you like a lightweight gun, uh, but a lot of guys prefer a heavier gun due to better recoil management. So one of the guys that really helped influence and create this gun, Nils Johannesson, is a, you know, a world champ when it comes to shooting. Uh, he's pretty much said, yeah, cuts here, cuts there, minimalize the weight of the barrel, have these window cuts, and it's an easy recoiling gun as it is, so it works out really well. I like, I like a lot of what they've done. Now. Again, you can have the optic here if you so choose to. What we do have in, on this guy is the Mechanic Optic, which is a 3 MOA red dot. It does have some serrations on the side of it, which line up pretty well with the optics plate that comes with the gun. There's multiple optics plates, so if you wanted to put on different types of red dots, you can. Uh, but it lines up very well with the texturing on the slide itself, which I think is super cool. So not only do you have the opportunity or the availability to mount an optic, but you're also increasing your surface area for gripping the gun depending on however you want to do that which i think is super cool and it even all goes all the way up onto the optic so i think again all the design in the gun is pretty pretty freaking awesome if you ask me now you do have an ambi slide release on it the magazine uh, is also ambi as well or the magazine re release i should say so if you just want to switch it out from side to side you can do that adjustable back straps it comes with as well again all of that is right here in the box little cleaning kit or at least just a cleaning rod, cleaning brush as well. And two magazines, again, of the 18 round capacity. And you might be wondering kind of why 18 round? Uh, why didn't they go with a little bit larger capacity? Like I said, these guns have been designed with competition in mind. So a lot of different leagues have different parameters or standards that the guns must meet in order to be eligible for competition. And those can go down to weight sometimes, length, height, width, all sorts of crazy stuff. And with the 18 round magazines, they found that that fits all of those parameters, including a removable magwell extension here. So that way, again, if you can't have any of that cool stuff at all, you know, you're going for a real basic class, uh, then you can remove this, put on your iron sight, uh, put on your, your optics cover plate, and you can run that gun legally in that competition. That's what I mean by legally, not like gun law legally, but anyway. So very cool, that's why they went with a 
18 round magazine. But let's say you choose to, or at least that class that you're shooting in does allow you to have maybe an extended base plate, something like that. These are plus zero base plates. They don't give you any more in capacity, but they do add, these are all aluminum. They do add a little bit more weight. So that way it drops even easier out because it already drops out very easy as well. But also to hitting the deck, hitting the ground, whatever type of surface you might be shooting on, uh, this thing right here can take a beating and it's gonna be completely fine. Uh, sure, finish might get a little marred over a period of time if you keep dropping on hard surfaces, but hey, if it's a gun that you're actually gonna shoot and use, it looks a little bit better worn anyway in my mind. It means you actually shoot your gun. But uh, anyway, very cool. So you do get extended base plates uh, to add a little bit more weight, a little bit more gripping area if you need to strip that mag out or anything like that, okay? Now, again, they've taken the designs from the Mate, they've taken the designs from the TP9 series, and they've kind of incorporated those here as well. So you're still gonna have those fantastic ergonomics on this guy with your little double undercut design here on the trigger guard, so it allows you to get that nice high grip. Perfect, you can really present the gun easily. And something that Canik has done that's just kind of blows my mind every time I take one of these out of the box is their triggers. Their triggers for an out of the box gun for the price point that you get these at don't make sense because they are fantastic. There are several other guns with competition in mind that are way much more expensive uh, that aren't as clean as this guy. So let me just go ahead and show you the trigger that comes in this one. This one you're gonna notice has that flat face trigger, uh, has a textured safety on it which a lot of the kind of incorporated trigger safeties, which typically is just like a little you know, piece of material that you depress. Uh, so that way, if you don't have a great grip on the trigger itself, it won't go unnecessarily. Uh, but this guy, you'll notice has a large surface area here, which makes for getting a proper trigger, I guess proper finger alignment on the trigger very easy and it feels fantastic. And we haven't even started to actually like shoot it yet right, so to say. But let's go ahead and just try that out. So you'll notice as I start to apply a little bit of pressure, for me, it's a very smooth take up. I, I notice I get a little bit of friction right here. You'll see where I hit a pretty solid wall. I apply a little bit more pressure and drops. And that's that always catches me off guard, how clean that is. Release, very short. So if you need to make those fast follow-up shots, you're trying to get as many shots on target as possible and as tight a group as possible, this trigger makes it very easy to do that. Especially with a very short reset like that, allows you to just pretty much feather that thing and just let it run, which is awesome. So again, ambi controls on it, which are great. You've got the slide, the aggressive slide serrations on it. The stippling on the gun uh, is very mild, if you ask me. I could, I could use with a little bit more aggressive, aggressive stippling, but that's just me personally. Some people don't like aggressive stippling. Some people do. I think what they have right here is a pretty good in between, honestly. Um, and if you want to, choice is yours. You can always, you know, do what you want on your own gun whenever you get it. Go ahead and grab your little, you know, soldering iron, whatever, and just start, I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Put little peace signs, you know, daredevil face or the Deadpool face. Whatever you guys want to do. It's up to you. It's your gun, right? But for me, this doesn't feel bad whatsoever. I could probably put a little bit larger back plate on it, which, again, is included. Uh, but I've been shooting it just as it came out of the box, minus throwing on the optic. And I, I do like it quite a bit. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. And I don't have a mag in it. <laughs> so overall... Super cool gun. Again, you've got the window cuts up top and on the side. On the bottom, you've got your Picatinny mount. So if you wanted to use this gun for maybe more of a home defense type of situation, whatever it might be, you have the option to go ahead and throw the light on there if you want to, light laser combo. Again, it's up to you all day long. And something that I think is just kind of cool, it kind of reminds me of like a LVOA status, maybe a little Zero Delta vibe. If you look at the muzzle of the gun, you can see where they've got kind of like that little cut where the muzzle sticks out just a little bit on the side. I, I just think that kind of looks cool. It's a really neat looking gun. Feels great in hand and feels even better to shoot. So again, uh, Nils Johannesson, the world champ that he is, he pretty much took the, again, the hybrid of all of those TP series, the SFX and the Mate and made the Rival, which you see here. And don't forget about the Rival Dark Side, as I mentioned earlier, it is a black gun. <laughs> it's a black gun, but it does come with an extra optics plate, which allows you for a little bit smaller footprint. Uh, so if you want to go with more of like a uh, like a shield, uh, more of a micro type of dot on it for carry or whatever else it might be that you want to do, 
you have that option. This one again has more competitive shooting in mind. And also on the dark side too, you do get the use of an optic plus your rear sight. You don't lose that ability. So all in all, very cool. Definitely a fan of this guy. And if you haven't seen our coverage of SHOT Show where we talked to Sentry a little bit about the Canik uh, rival, then go check out our footage on that because well, it's a good time. Oh, the holster. It does come with this cool little style holster as well that does a very good job at retaining the gun also. So that is pretty sweet. So you don't have to worry about going out there trying to find a compatible holster. It comes with one and it's actually a decent holster. This one's, this one's not bad. I like it quite a bit. And you can adjust the tension on it too with this little adjusting tensioning screw. Easy enough. Again, it comes with everything you need to run a competition right out of the box as you can see here. So extra mags, extra just about everything. If you want to run optics, you can. Iron sights, you can. You've got all these different types of options available to you. Even a little uh, micro canic to come with it, all right? Anyway, I'm going to try not to lose any of that and put that all back in there after the video. But last thing I want to talk about is our current giveaway. Uh, it is still the Barrett M82 A1 50 BMG with the 20 inch barrel, EOTech Voodoo, three and a half to 18 power, first focal plane optic, and the Scalar Works mount. Not much more we need to add to this gun because, well, the name Barrett itself already speaks volumes and the caliber it's chambered in. 50 BMG, what more could you possibly ask for? If you haven't seen our video unveiling this as our current giveaway, go check it out because I tried to do a uh, speed reload with this guy and it's, it's not fast. You don't do speed reloads with a 50 cal. Maybe I can increase my time one day if I get an appropriate mag pouch. I was just using a hoodie pocket and it didn't work out too well. But uh, anyway, code word SHOT because this is our SHOT Show giveaway. Again, go check out all of our SHOT Show coverage if you haven't seen it. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com and I'll see you down in the comments section all about the rival.